Welcome, Rick, to Newcastle, or shall I say bonjourno? Bonjourno! Well, okay. <laughs> thank you for having another great exhibition, and I'm so excited by what you've produced for it. Um, you've got sort of an amazing lifestyle from Australia moving over to Italy and then being able to paint something perhaps at your back door. How do you choose a composition when you're, you've got this beautiful selection of material in Italy? Well, I've actually never had trouble choosing subjects because I always say the subjects choose me. Right. So what I have to do is just travel through places that I really like and the subjects will speak to you. And normally they sort of even come in a almost a finished size. So I have a quite often a, almost an automatic feeling of how the painting is going to look when it's finished, which is very useful. So you could actually, as you travel around, you'll see an image that immediately appeals and you will assess it in terms of composition perhaps to paint? No, it's not even that technical. Um, it's just a feeling you, you get inside. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it, it might only be a little speck of light or a colour or something that's happening in a situation in, in, a, in a particular place and it suggests itself to me and the painting just evolves out of that. So it's not a specific subject, it's, it's almost like a a magnetic field that you come into. It's really quite strange. And I, if, as I find as long as I follow that feeling, the paintings work out the way I want them. Rick, you've had a very successful career as a, as a full-time artist, uh, perhaps the envy of many other artists. <laughs> Why do you think you've been able to prosper and, and prosper for so many years? It's very difficult and I really do feel very fortunate. Um, this is my 40th year of painting full time, which is quite amazing. I think the key is that I've, I've always painted things that I like and my paintings aren't confrontational at all. They're the sort of things that a lot of people are quite happy to live with. Mm -hmm. So I don't have um, a very limited market. It's a, they appeal to a wide range of people. And I think I've just been very fortunate um, it's been a wonderful life. <laughs> it still is. Well, that's that's great. <laughs> and we've got this this what people think is an idyllic lifestyle, being able to live in Italy and and paint the pictures, and I bring them back to Australia to sell. But um, it's like every other every other way of living. There's always the the practical problems that go along with with, with the living, but um, living in a little Italian village is really quite special. It's like a big Italian family, you know, they're lovely people. Mm -hmm. So we're very, very content where we are. Now Rick, in this particular painting from the Cinque Terre area of Italy, it really captures something that's attracted you for many years the patination on the wall and the light play and then the lifestyle down in the foreground. Can you go through this painting and tell us a little bit about what you see and what you look for and things that you as a painter are drawn to? Yeah, well it really has everything in it that I look for in a painting. Um, one of my key concerns all through my career has been I've always loved the patina on walls, the age, the, the patina that age gives to old walls and of course Italy has those in abundance. So I actually prepare my canvases to give me a texture before I even start to paint. It was really interesting that the builders in Italy that were renovating our house were quite amazed that the boards I paint on look very much like the walls that they'd prepared. Right. So I love, I love that patination. Um, one of the things I look for in paintings is I love a, a broadish style of work so I don't like things to be too detailed. But in Italy, some of the details are what actually give it that intrinsic feel. So I love the types of ironwork. I love shadows from all the extraneous things that they hang off walls and, and um, wires and you know, everything. Italians do terrible things to the outside of buildings. But this has a combination of everything. Um, it has interesting shadows. It has washing, which I've painted for years. It has cafes and people going about their normal everyday life. So I tend to paint the everyday things. I tend to not look for the picturesque. 